All right, students, welcome to our third week of at-home gym class. I hope you're excited because we are going to get started with the bunny hop dance. All right, if you think back to last week, we did a dance called the seven jumps, and that was a dance where we really focused on counting and working our lower half of our body by doing some jumping skills. And this week for the bunny hop dance, we are working on those same things and we are gonna to continue to grow. So we are gonna work on our counting skills and we're also gonna work on our jumping skills doing the bunny hop dance. All right, so stay tuned, we will get started. I hope you're ready to have some fun. Remember that this dance is called the bunny hop dance. So during this dance, you really gotta do your best bunny impression, which means you need to act like a bunny rabbit and we're gonna be hopping around like bunny rabbits and we're also gonna be putting our hands up in front of us like rabbits do, all right? so. This is an outline of the dance. I've got it broken into five steps here. We'll start at step number one, and we'll move all the way down to step number five, and then at the end, it will be your turn to do the bunny hop dance. We're gonna go ahead and look at these steps and break them down uh, individually, and that way you will understand them a little bit better before we begin our dance, okay? So looking at step number one here, step number one and step number two, we are going to be just using our feet and tapping our toes on the ground, okay? So on step number one, we are going to be tapping our toe to the right. And when we are tapping our toe to the right, we are going to return our foot back to that starting position after each time we tap it, okay? So we'll tap our foot out to the right onto the ground and then back to home, okay? So that's why it says home. That just means bringing your foot back to that starting position, okay? We'll tap our foot out to the right, we'll bring it back home, we'll tap it once more, and then we'll bring it back. Looking at step number two here, we are going to simply repeat step number one where we were doing those toe taps two times. And remember after each tap, we're gonna return that foot back to home, which is our starting position, okay? We are doing the same toe taps except now with our left foot. So step number one was doing two toe taps with our right foot. And then step number two is doing two toe taps with our left foot. And remember, we will tap our foot out once and then return back to home, which is back uh, to our starting position. And then we will bring our foot out once more and do our second tap before we go back home. Okay, so after you've done your two taps to the right, your two taps to the left, after you've done both sides, left and right of your toe taps, that brings us to step number three, where we are going to be jumping forwards one time. Okay, and when we are jumping forwards, we are gonna hop like a bunny rabbit, and we are gonna use both of our feet at the same time, okay? So we are gonna jump off of two feet and land on two feet at the same time, okay? So remember, step number three, we're gonna make one bunny hop forwards, and then that brings us to step number four, where we will do the reverse of that step where we are gonna do a bunny hop backwards, okay? In step three, four, and five, we are gonna be jumping, and while we're jumping, remember that we are using both of our feet, and we are gonna lift off the ground and land on the ground on both of our feet at the same time, okay? After we have jumped backwards once, then that brings us to our last step where we are gonna do a jump forwards for three times, okay? Right here it says three times, all right? So we will jump forward once, we'll jump backwards once, and then step five, we're gonna do three bunny hops moving forward, okay? Remember, both feet have to start and stop at the same time. And we'll do our three little bunny hops forward. And after we get done with our third hop, that will bring us all the way back to step number one, okay? And remember, in step number one and two, that means we're gonna get back doing the toe taps out to the side, returning our feet back to our starting position, getting to step two, stepping out with our left foot twice, each time going back home. And then we'll get to step three, We'll jump forward once, step forward, uh, step four, we jump backwards once, and then finally with step five, we do three of those bunny hops moving forward. And this is the sequence, this is the pattern of the dance. We're gonna repeat steps one through five until the song is over, and that is the bunny hop dance, okay? All right, kindergartners and first graders, that was our dance for this week. I hope you're excited. This is gonna be a very fun one. You get to act like a bunny rabbit. Get outside, be silly, have fun. Get some friends and family together because I promise the more people you have together doing this dance, the more fun it will be. And if you can just imagine a big line of people acting like bunny rabbits, dancing around in your yard, it's gonna be a lot of fun, all right? 
So I will see you next week with another dance. And really quick, I got one more thing for us. I would love to see you doing your bunny hop dances. So if at all possible, I would really enjoy it if you could take a short video or a picture of you and your friends or family members doing this bunny hop dance and send them over my way. I would love to see your shining faces doing this dance. So if you can, take a quick clip and email it to me and I will be sure to watch out for those because I cannot wait to see what you do with this.